What's going on guys, Nathan400EX is back for another video, and today I'm going to show you how to tighten the chain up on a 400EX. And before we get into this little project, I'm going to show you the tools that you need to do this. So here we go. Okay, so for tightening up the chain on a 400EX, you really only need minimal tools. I have a jack, and then I have the pliers, and I have the pliers for um, loosening up the screw that lowers the jack, you know, lets all the pressure out. Then... I have the screwdriver. I have that for a few different reasons. You and you're gonna want a big screwdriver for this, because either way you're gonna need it for your carrier, and then I also use it for raising up the jack. And then you're gonna need a six millimeter Allen key or hex key. And mine, I have a socket, so I just put that on the ratchet wrench. It makes it a lot easier. So if you have one of those, you know, I'd suggest going for that because it makes it a lot easier than using just a regular, you know, six millimeter small Allen key. Alright, so, step one, you're going to want to loosen up those four rear end bolts. Now, just to make this go a little bit faster, I already have them all loosened up. So, what I normally do is I work my way from left to right. And a lot of people say that you don't have to uh, loosen them all the way, you know, to where like they can just come right out. But, I mean, as you can see, what I normally do is I just loosen them. So they do, you know, pretty much come right out, just so that way you don't have to worry about going back and if one's too tight you got to do that one and then go back and do another one so I just loosen them all pretty much to the point where they're well actually to the point where you can just take them right out and uh, then I go ahead and jack it up which I'll show you right now which is step two okay and step two next what I do is I stick the jack up under the rear end and uh, right now I don't have a skid plate on so if you have the original stock skid plate, I'd probably say take that off first because those stock skid plates, they really don't last that long. They're not good. You know, I love Honda, but, you know, the stock skid plates, you know, especially because this is an 03. Nowadays, they make them out of plastic. But back in the day, they used to be all metal. So you'd, if you got one hard hit, it would fold right up. You'd have to bend it back, and the more times you bend it back, it just gets weak and weak and weak. So... I mean, either way, what I'd recommend, just so you can get a, a good grip on it, is I'd take the skid plate right off, so that way the uh, the jack can actually grab the rear end really good. So what I do is, like I said, I stick the jack up under there. And like I said, the big screwdriver is going to come in handy for a few different reasons. Now you don't have to jack your wheeler up crazy high, but I jack it up a little bit because, like I said, I have a big screwdriver. And that is so you get good leverage and because the holes that you uh, shift the carrier with are wide so you're gonna want a pretty fat screwdriver either way so I jack it up enough like I said like that so that right there will be enough room for me to get the screwdriver up under there and now I'll go ahead and show you step three okay so on to step three now when tightening your chain you always want a little bit of play. You never want your chain cranked right tight. So right now you can see, I mean that's that's definitely too loose. So you can see a hole right here and a hole down at the bottom. Now I plan on replacing my carrier because my carrier is kind of messed up. You know, this is how it was when I got it. So the first hole is kind of reamed out. The second hole is still pretty good. So you can actually get the screwdriver in there and. Uh, what I'm going to show you is you go back, and that cranks it right tight. And then obviously, you know, if you have it too tight, you shift it back forward, and then it loosens it way out. So we're going to go ahead and try to get it right in the sweet spot. And what you're also going to want to test is... You know, if you're adjusting your chain and you feel it right now, you know, like just say for example, I mean this is too loose, but just say for example that this was good, then when you go to sit on it when you're riding it, it's too tight because as you sit down, you know, the more weight that goes on the wheeler, the more stress and pressure and the tighter the chain's going to get. So, you're going to want to, what I normally do is, I mean right now I'm by myself, but normally I'd have somebody just come over here, press right down on my grab bar so that way, you know, when it's like me be sitting on it or something like that, you know, I can just feel it and see how tight it's going to be. But I'll be doing that here in a minute. So we'll just adjust it real quick. Try to get it to a good point. You feel that. How's that? 
Uh, a little bit tighter than that. And like I said, I'm gonna have to put some pressure on it too. Okay, so right there, that's pretty good. That's not that's not too too bad. Especially because when you're sitting on it. So I'll put a little bit of pressure on it right now. And I'll give it a feel. I'll put a little bit more pressure on it. Yeah, that doesn't feel too bad. So yeah, right there, I would call that pretty much good. So, yeah. And then I'll just show you pretty much how to put everything back together. Okay, so now at this point, you can pretty much shut the video off if you want to. I'm just going to film it, you know, in reverse for people that want to see it. But at this point, it's pretty self-explanatory. All you got to do is, you know, like every jack is different, especially because this is an older jack that I have. So... We're just going to go ahead, if I can actually get a hold of it, grab that, loosen that, and the jack will go right down. And of course, before I put it away, just so I can use it next time, I uh, tighten up the bolt first. So we'll just grab it from this side. Go ahead and just crank that very tight. Yeah, that's good. So, then we'll go ahead and pull that jack right out. And then I'll show you the final step, which is pretty much just tightening those bolts up. Okay, so, now at this point, it's pretty self-explanatory. All you gotta do is the first step, but in reverse. So, how, like I said, I, w I usually go from left to right, you know, loosen the bolts up. Well, now all you gotta do is go back and tighten them. And then you're gonna wanna ride your wheeler around a little bit, feel your chain. If it feels too tight or too loose, now you'll know how to go back and readjust it. And this video is for anyone who's, you know, obviously trying to figure out how to tighten your chain, but I don't know, maybe like someone just getting, you know, into the racing wheelers or switching over from a different brand like Kawasaki or Suzuki because every, you know, different company, you know, makes their wheelers differently or even a Polaris. I mean, especially a Polaris, you know. So, yeah, I hope this video helped you guys out. And if it did... Let me know in the comments if there's anything, you know, any questions you have, leave it in the comments. Like and subscribe, it definitely helps out. And for now, this has been Nathan400DX. Peace out.